subject hydrology chapter hydrograph analysis topic instantaneous unit hydrograph so now students we have discussed about the matter of superposition the s curve also what is hydrograph what is unit hydrograph what is prs and everything we have discussed right so this is a very small topic which has been recently added to the uh, gate syllabus that is the instantaneous unit hydrograph so let us first of all discuss the concept of instantaneous unit hydrograph right so let us let me first of all draw a normal unit hydrograph that is this is discharge this is time this is for a dr duration let us say it starts with time zero it is of dr duration and one unit or one centimeter is the depth right okay let us say this is the hydrograph this is the hydrograph clear for this particular now the thing is that the shape of this hydrograph it also depends upon the duration of rainfall d it also depends on that right now if the duration of rainfall is very high is very large but for the same rainfall it is 1 cm depth right the curve would be like this it will be much flatter curve like this this will be the curve the base plate will also be high if the duration of this rainfall decreases let us say it is like this this is the duration of the rainfall right then what will happen the curve will be like this it will be like this clear now the duration can still reduce it can still reduce this is small d very small d right so the duration will be like this very skew like this so i can say that for a particular catchment area this hydrograph curve it depends upon the intensity of rainfall right because you know that intensity is equals to 1 upon d so as the intensity of rainfall is you can say increasing the uh, the intensity of rainfall is increasing so this has become much more skewed right it has skewed to the left you can say clear so it depends upon the duration of the rainfall or the intensity of the rainfall so that is clear now the thing is that if this d becomes very small that is if this d it tends to zero if this d it tends to zero then what will happen obviously if this d tends to zero it will be a very skew graph which i cannot even draw it will be very skew graph clear okay? okay now for this when d tends to zero this situation is known as the instantaneous unit hydrograph means at a particular interval of time for example if someone says you for example if someone says you determine the determine the unit hydrograph at at 3 hours duration right so at 3 hours means at d tending to 3 almost tending to 3 at that particular point itself right so how to determine it so uh, uh, after a lot of research it has been found that if you do, draw the graph so it would be like this so it is given by the instantaneous unit hydrograph of ut duration of ut duration it is actually equal to if you integrate the s curve if you integrate the s curve from time t1 to t2 for example you are uh, you are told that you have to determine the instantaneous unit hydrograph so you have to integrate your uh, s curve from time t1 to t2 s curve means s2 minus s1 divided by i dt or i can also say that right or i can also say that that the instantaneous uh, sorry not instantaneous that is limit sorry limit so limit t tending to limit t tending to zero that is time almost tending to zero right so i will be getting s2 minus s1 upon i dt or i can also say that if i want to determine s2 minus s1 upon i so i can say i have to integrate it so integration from t1 to t2 ut dt dt i have taken here it will be equal to s2 minus s1 divided by the rainfall intensity divided by the rainfall intensity simple now to further simplify it to it, it, it is looking very typical it is looking you can say very difficult right to further simplify it in books it has been given that the if you want to determine uh, you can say uh, instantaneous unit hydrograph for a particular point of time let us say that you want to determine the instantaneous unit hydrograph for dr duration d let's say d1 right 
let us say d1 are duration instantaneous unit hydrograph will be equal to it will be equal to average of average of the unit hydrograph of tr's duration plus the unit hydrographs of t minus d1 r duration t minus d1 r duration now let me give you an example now this is a discharge but this uh, this is discharge right now let me give you one example let us say that you have been given a discharge profile of let us say q is equals to let us say you are given uh, 1 minus e raised to the power minus t let us say you have been given a discharge profile like this and in question it is told to you that determine the instantaneous unit hydrograph at t is equals to 3 or sometimes iuh that is the instantaneous unit hydrograph is not even mentioned so it is just told to calculate the unit hydrograph at t is equals to at a particular time interval t is equals to 3 so what you will do is that if you want to remind that d1r unit hydrograph what you have to do you will take half of ut right and suppose that you are given a 2 hour unit hydrograph let us say a 2 hour unit hydrograph is given to you and you need to determine an instantaneous unit hydrograph at t is equal to 3 so what you will do now what will be your t so t will be your this 2 right so this t will be your sorry this t will be your 3 right so it will be equal to u at 3 plus u at 3 minus 2 clear 3 minus 2 right what is your d d is your 2 clear now it will be equal to half of now what is this u3 so you put your 3 in this right so it will be equal to 1 minus e raised to the power minus 3 plus u1 this is 3 minus 2 it will be 1 so it will be equal to 1 minus e raised to the power minus 1 so that is how you calculate the instantaneous unit hydrograph. So always remember, whenever in question you have been asked that determine the unit hydrograph at t is equals to 4, at t is equals to 5 or something, something like this. What you have to do is that, first of all, you have to see what is the duration of the unit hydrograph which is given to you in question. If it is a 2 hour unit hydrograph, 3 hour, 4 hour, 5, whatever, whatever, right? So you get it, then you subtract whatever the time frame is given to you, you will get a particular value. You put it in this, you will get this value and uh, this uh, the unit hydrograph which you need to calculate, you put it in the function, you will get one value and you will take the average, you will get the answer. So that is how, one question I will also be solving, one question which came in the examination to make you further understand this topic more deeply, right? I am not going in very deep in that because it, it includes a lot of calculations actually. Right? So I am not going to deep in that, but the, okay, the summary of this instantaneous unit hydrograph is this much only, which I will add to you, this much. This much is the summary of this instantaneous unit hydrograph. Okay? So I hope that you have understood the concept of instantaneous unit hydrograph. So as the intensity or as the duration of rainfall is changing, it is also changing my curve also. Okay? So it has also has a few properties. So first property is that this ut will be will have some value if t is greater than 0 clear now this ut will be equal to 0 if t is less than or equal to 0 and this ut has a value of 0 if t tends to infinite these are the properties so no need to remember the properties just i have just told you so this is important right this is important this one so I hope that you have understood this small topic that is the instantaneous unit hydrograph. So now it's time to solve some previous year gate questions which I feel that they were a little bit complicated numericals, right? They were a little bit typical numericals, right? Which you need a much of analytical ability to solve. So let us solve a few previous year gate questions in the next topic. Thank you.